Hello everyone and welcome back to part 4 of this mod tutorial series for advanced genetics. In this video I will explain uh, everything you need to know about cloning. So the first thing you need to do is get a skin scale from the mob you wish to clone. So in this example I'm going to use a scale of a pig and process that down into a helix. Now with this helix we need to insulate it using the DNA insulator. Place the helix in here. And it's going to take some time even with 16 overclockers. So while that's doing that I'm going to tell you about the um, auto scraper. Now this is a good way to uh, automate the production of cells. So if you just uh, place the scraper down near a mob and supply it power it will automatically scrape the skin and store it in its inventory here uh, which you can pipe out and connect it to an analyzer which will continuously produce cells for you. Uh, the next step once that helix has been insulated is to insulate some cells Now these insulator cells stack up to 16, unlike the uh, previous uh, production of a cell. Oops. So the next step is to get yourself a DNA cloner. I'll just remove this quickly. We place the uh, helix of the mob that we wish to clone in the bottom slot there and the insulated cells in the inventory to the right here and it should spawn a pig now another really cool feature is you can place a syringe with um, a set DNA with an ability and uh, inject that ability into the uh, creature being spawned by the cloner. So there's two ways you can do this. You can directly take your own DNA and centrifuge it and place it into the cloner and any mob that's spawned by the cloner will have the same DNA makeup as you. Or you can isolate an ability. So if we take this infinite milk and breed it up. We need six of these. It's four, five, six. I'll just quickly breed it. And then take our sample of blood. Uh, you can also take the sample of um, any creature, so let me just demonstrate that. We'll do it with the pig's DNA. Get ourselves a syringe. And just right click on the uh, creature with the syringe. It's the same process. And then centrifuge it. And now combine it with the gene that we wish to imprint onto the creature. And centrifuge it again. So now we have the infinite milk gene in this syringe and we place it here. We just kill this pig. So now let's place our insulated cell in here and spawn another pig. And let me go into survival quickly. So now this pig should have the infinite milk gene. As you can see, it does. Uh, it I don't know why, but it keeps giving me this ghost image. It must be a bug. But that's the uh, DNA cloner and the clone process uh, shown you, uh, shown for you there. Um, and in the next video, and the last video, I imagine, I'll show you um, a few of the remaining items. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon.